What is up my lovely subscribers? I know some of you got a little worried and was wondering if I was ever going to get around to doing Hal Jordan himself. The main, main Green Lantern. He's up there with the other powerhouse Green Lanterns like Kyle Rayner and John Stewart. I got videos about those guys, so check those out if you haven't. You might want to binge watch all the Lantern videos I have. I have one about LaFreeze and all that good stuff. But how strong is Hal Jordan? Since he's one of the main Green Lanterns, he has a ton of feats and surprisingly he's one of the Lanterns that has some flashy feats as well. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. You know, he has the weapon, one of the the mightiest weapons in the universe the green lantern ring he's a part of the green lantern core which has a lot of members it is embodiment empowered by will stronger the will is the stronger the green lantern is pretty vague limitless potential type of thing even if you're human and aliens use their lantern ring you can overpower them if you have more will that type of thing let's get it here's one of the guidebooks for how jordan to get a good understanding if you want to pause the video and read all of this you can as well but i'll read a little bit of it for you how jordan has spent most of his childhood at edwards air force base just 20 miles outside of coast city when his pilot father whom he idolized died in a crash how's greatest fear came to pass no other fear ever took its place after moving back to coast city with his mother and brothers how spent every waking moment he could on local airfields often hitchhiking out to Edwards against his mother's wishes. He enlisted in the U.S. Air Force when he turned 18. When that didn't work out, he took a job at Ferris Aircraft. After Abin Sur, another Green Lantern of Earth's space sector, 2814, crashed on Earth, his ring sought out a new successor, whom was able to overcome great fear and found test pilot Hal Jordan, trained to become one of the best Green Lanterns. Hal's confidence and willpower never failed him until Coast City was destroyed by Mongo. Yeah, you can read the rest. I know I read a lot of that more than I said I was going to read. <laughs> oh, that's when he was paralyzed. Oh, that might be another video. Let me just break the common misconceptions. The color yellow used to be his weakness. I know that's goofy, but guess what? It stated here, it would have worked back in the day. Yellow is not a weakness to him no more, just in case you were curious. Getting out common misconceptions, and guess what? His suit is not fabric, it is made entirely of energy. Since the emotions, will, and hope kind of go hand in hand, Green Lanterns and Blue Lanterns kind of help each other out and buff each other. Near another Blue Lantern, he can actually get supercharged or buffed. So this is kind of like a deadly duo. And by the way, taking his ring off isn't an automatic win. He can even make constructs and do stuff even when it's not on his finger, just in case you was curious. Throughout all fiction, we all can agree that willpower just in general is the ultimate counter against telepathy type stuff. Most telepathic people find their number when they meet somebody that has insane willpower. Obviously, Green Lantern has insane willpower. He can deflect mind attacks thanks to his willpower. In this one occasion, deflects an amped Hector Hammond's mental attack. You might as well try not to mind control a Green Lantern. That, that's their whole thing is willpower. And willpower, even without being a Green Lantern, has always been like a counter to telepathy type stuff or mind control. He even resists the mind probing of a mad guardian as well. Yeah, yeah, the guardians, some guardians be tripping. But it didn't matter. He was still able to resist it thanks to his insane willpower. These guardians are insanely powerful, though. I got to give them some credit for that. Heck, the ring itself functions as a telepathic inhibitor. States here, are you sure you don't want a telepathic inhibitor? I've already got one, he says, which is the ring, right? Yawn, mind games that intend to induce fear completely and utterly fails against how Jordan and his insane willpower, right? You know the Black Mercy, that little weird looking crap that be like attaching to people, make them see their best dreams. It makes you like live in an illusion. It usually always works. But the thing about how Jordan's willpower, he says, nah, my willpower is too strong for this mess. He even resisted nanomachines trying to reprogram his brain. So it's like even stuff inside of his head have resistances. Even if he's not like putting a green energy barrier over his actual head, it's like just, you know, willpower. This being known as Jericho, he can kind of go in your body and control your soul. He kind of made Jericho leave his body thanks to his willpower. This usually always works, but Hal's willpower is too insane, so get out of me. You're probably thinking, ah, uh, doing these Green Lantern constructs ain't nothing, man. Anybody can do it if they, you know, any other human can do it, even if they're a superhero like Green Arrow. Tell me why Green Arrow is exhausted just from making an arrow. Showing that just because other superheroes have bravery and they are indeed great superheroes, as in Hal Jordan is a human specializing in willpower. This could also be, have something to do with the fact that he's not chosen either, so there's that. But when it comes to Hal Jordan, he can make giant constructs like it's big enough to put the earth together. It helps that the ring is, is light and it can move at the speed of light, right? Obviously. These are basically willpower feats for Hal. His willpower is strong enough to power the entire Blue Lantern core. It states here, as the Green Lantern, Saint Walker, not as one of you, his will can power our entire core. They've had a lot of occasions of fighting parallels. This is one of the many occasions. Battling the power of will, as you can see. He helped Kyle Rayner break out of the control of Parallax. Yeah, they be having a lot of scuffles with this guy. 
kind of important to their lore. I usually don't get into the flashy stuff right after getting but the flashy stuff, like the inanimate object stuff, let's go. I love the limitations on how big they can actually make their Green Lantern constructs, like freaking over the top big. I mean, for peace sake, he was able to put the moon back in its proper orbit with his Green Lantern willpower and ring abilities, as you can see. Isn't that awesome? Everybody brings this up. This is one of his famous feats. He was able to make a construct as big as the Earth. Not only that, it was able to resist Superman pulling against it. So it's like a durability feat, helping Superman pull the Earth in the process. You're probably thinking this is a Superman feat because Superman's the one pulling the Earth. Well, guess what? His construct is the one actually durable enough to take the pressure of Superman moving the Earth without shattering into pieces instantaneously. So yeah, it is a feat for Hal Jordan. No matter how you want to look at it, it's still epic. And another case of them pulling the Earth along with a lot of lanterns. This is a whole bunch of them though, so it's split up into a lot of different lanterns. With the help of some other lanterns and stuff like that, they actually stopped a planet from colliding with Earth and pushes it back into deep space in the process. Tell me this isn't cool. Respect that raw power, baby. This is no surprise. Black hole level beings. Hal Jordan is a black hole level being, of course. Compressing a star with Barry. This epicness, right? Two black hole level beings working together. After showing y'all that planet and star stuff, of course he can catch a jet, right? Can even catch a space shuttle. Literally able to recreate Coast City and its inhabitants. Tell me that isn't epic. This really is ruled by imagination and willpower alone to show all of this. <laughs> Dude really created a whole city and just, yeah. Not to mention that Coast City is 20 miles in diameter. To further concrete him in a black hole level being, he was able to restrain a Kryptonian power. Many uh, battles with Sinestro. You're going to keep seeing this happen. Trapped Sinestro in a mini coast city. Epicness, right? How Jordan even restrained Lobo. Even slugged it out, fought Lobo. Gotta respect. He was able to like kind of stop Superman in his tracks while he was speeding away. Kind of, you know, just light work stuff. Nothing super impressive. Believe it or not, people always talk junk about battle feats. Like, I want to see him bust something. I want to see him destroy a giant planet or something. But the battle feats is really important when it comes to seeing how strong they really are. How Jordan is no slouch when it comes to his battle feats. Constructs that can hurt some of the toughest people when it comes to durability. Let's proceed. He made a spiked gauntlet construct and it was powerful enough to punch Cyborg Superman's jaw off. Another battle feat. He knocks the Black Lantern Spectre's jaw off. Guys, this is a base Hal Jordan, by the way. I'm just letting you know, just in case you didn't know. Another occasion of him harm harming Lobo. Yeah, he's a black hole level being. He can harm Lobo level characters. Mongol. On this occasion, he kind of makes this awesome battle suit construct. Beats the living crap out of Mongol. More proof of him, of him being in that black hole level being range. This tight, cool looking construct suit he made. Don't you love the battle suits? Actually KO'd Mongol, a black hole level being. He fell out. <laughs> This does get a little confusing. Hal actually met his zero hour parallax self evidently and he doesn't like it. So he wants to prevent him from turning into this darkness. Look at the panels as you can see here. And I can prevent all of it by staying in the present. I don't understand how both of us can be here. But if going back means there's even a chance I'll turn in into you parallax and do those terrible things you did, I won't let it happen. It's implied that his attacks can harm the Man of Steel himself, further concreting him in that ridiculous level of high tier black hole level beings, multiple black hole le level beings, way past solar system level, if that makes sense. Like seriously, there's this Tamango crucified. Like, ouch. His sharp constructs have, you know, fought against Mazo and the sharp constructs begin to cut Amazo's leg. You know, the android that has all the powers of the league. You no, know, no big deal. His, you know, his constructs can just cut it. A being that has all the powers of the league. You know, no big deal, right? Same, right? These insane features just keep getting crazier and crazier. He kind of tear it through a Black Lantern Abin Sir. Mongal. Gal. Creates arrows, green arrow. Then he uses those arrows that he made out of his constructs to shoot. Mongal. He's fought in Superman, Cyborg Superman, all the Superman you can think of. Apply to be able to harm them pretty badly. Just having a good time destroying a lot of robots. As you can see here, Epic. Oh, by the way, he was able to actually blast a hole in a maze, though, just in case you was curious. Say what you want, but he blasted right through Cyborg Superman. I'm just saying. He broke free of a Black Lantern Spectre's grip. 
By the way, I have a video about, you know, just straight up Spectre on my channel, by the way, just in case you're curious. Yeah, the Landry's be involved in some big stuff, guys. Look how he broke out the grip. Epicness, right? Okay, see, it's feats like this where he makes me think they're, they're way above the black hole level, and this is like on some uh, Skyfather type stuff. I don't know how he's able to hurt this being, Krona. Why he has the ion powered. This is kind of insanity. Kills him, overriding the ring's programming, of course, would help. A mad guardian, of course. Ouch. Epicness incarnate. Unquantifiable, of course, but it's one of those things where it states here. Flashing with Finestro bends reality. What does that mean? Goodness. Showing that he is a top tier Green Lantern for a reason. He actually killed Kilowog with one blast. Showing that, yeah, these human Green Lanterns is not to be trifled with. This is kind of crazy. Uh, Evidently, you can kind of like program to the ring to where it can kind of have like an algorithm, if that makes sense. Like tell the ring to do something, and if it fits within the algorithm, it'll do it. Like what it says here, ring, initiate code 1012, incinerate all extraterrestrial weapons and technology, incinerating. It's like the ring can be like what, on autopilot and just do whatever the algorithm he states in the code says, if if I'm perceiving this right. He blasted back, back at him here, of course, just blasted him back, didn't kill him or nothing. The most flashy feats when it comes to lanterns because he just has so many showings. He even fought freaking Captain Adam. Captain Adam is even amazed at his power. I even have a whole video about Captain Adam just in case you want to see how strong he is. Captain Adam pretty much states that it hurts his bolts. Yet another heavy hitter, right? I mean, for Pete's sake, he does have a lot of blast power to the point where, I know I showed this earlier, but yeah, I just wanted to reiterate. It says, Power Rings always did pack a heck of a punt, letting you know Superman feels that jump. Raw blast power, right? Too many instances, guys. Awkwardly enough, he can make you go to bed with his ring by saying that time. That's that awkward. There was like the shadow monster. He just dispersed it with a flash of light because, you know, he's light, right? Can even use neural wave blast, kind of like stuff that can get in your head. Is Martian Manhunter the most versatile? Is he more versatile? Tyler than Hal Jordan? I don't know. This stuff doesn't stop there, though, guys. Let's talk about his construct complexity, like the weird stuff the ring can do. Like, you guys know he's in the Black Hole Ranges. I, I, Y'all knew that before me, I even made this video. The part that's cool about Green Lantern videos and rings and videos like this is just to see how complex and this stuff they can do with their versatility, with their willpower, with their creativity. This dude, Hal Jordan, not only was able to push Hector Hammond out of his mind, but he was able to reach into his head and turn the Samato sensory cortex back on so he can feel pain again. That's very complex. When he wants to, he can even broadcast the message throughout Coast City, like it's going through the wires and the technology, I guess, and just broadcast it that way. Like he's popping up on TV. This dude set a mental block to prevent anyone from entering a room with Alan Scott's lantern, making it so they won't even notice that that part of the museum exists. They don't even notice, like, what? What if I told you he has some form of power bestowal? When Wally lost his powers for a bit, he actually said, here, Wally, here's some lantern powers. <laughs> but how, though? I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of awesome. Power bestowal. There was a time when Hal Jordan died for a little bit, but this is the thing. This is kind of like a willpower feat. Hal's connection to the power was unique. Tom, you know that this wasn't beyond him. Somehow the energy became sentient, but lacked direction. Most likely it fed off of images in Hal's dying mind. Here's the question. Could Hal beat the Justice League? Well, I'm just gonna let this sit here. First thing I'd concern myself with was defense. And Hunter can affect minds and become intangible. Flash moves faster than thought. Ring can handle both with a little help, blocking my mind from PSI attacks and keeping Barry at arm's reach. The next choice is pretty obvious. Superman? No, Batman. He's the most dangerous, definitely. I'd hurl him as far away from the fight as I could imagine, then go for the big guns. <laughs> can your ring really keep Superman and Martian and Manhunter back? I guess, but I have to work quickly. Barry's a pro, but he's got a certain MO that he can't shake. When things get tough, he runs faster to outrun the problem. So if I could trap him, oh wow, build up his speed and fire him like a bullet, whoever was closest, preferably John, maybe even Wonder Woman. Basically using Flash like a dog on slingshot. I'd make sure my ears were covered for the sign that boomed the What about Superman, they say? I have thought about that, actually. The things he's capable of, he's like a god, Tom. I mean, I can do a lot with the ring, but Superman, he's something else entirely if he were ever to cross the line. I've been doing some studying, and I think I figured it out. Green kryptonite is the key. Problem is, he knows I can do this. He'd be ready to counter. He'd wrap his fists with his cape or some such things. Then he says he would use fear against Superman. Ah, eh, whatever. If that makes sense. Yeah, Tom had the ring for a little bit. The house ring took the form of a human child, you know. The ring itself, not necessarily how, but just the ring in general, has the power enough to rebuild Oa, which is actually pretty 
freaking cool. I don't know how this is possible, but he can send constructs through a phone. The ring provided so much power enough to shrink the earth to the point where a nucleus is a sun. And you gotta love it. Tell me that isn't cool. That stuff is pretty much obvious, right? Well, let's get into some more fun stuff like his shielding. Let's just snipe him before he puts a force field up because he is a human. He does have human skin. Well, I don't know if you can just snipe him off guard like that because of the shield. His ring kind of has like sentient properties to it. Like the time it automatically melted a bullet into slag. It's like auto shields. It's, just, it's like, yeah, kind of like, I guess it has spider sense, right? Can't just catch him off guard with his force field down, right? Because he does have human body. You can kill him with a a bullet if he actually got hit but the shield it's like auto shields you can't just kill him that way so you might as well say no he's not a glass cannon he's actually gotten hit to the moon hard enough to the point where it has indeed shattered yeah they just it's so many planet busting feats for hal jordan it's just like ridiculous man it's just so much it even protects his hand from being torn off by a manhunter if already shows you fighting lobo he can take attacks from lobo without getting his head shattered into pieces he even taking a hit from black adam obviously this dude even take that moon shattering energy blast, dude. He has to be in the Black Hole Rangers. It's just obvious at this point. He was even able to endure getting blasted through a planet. Like, okay, guy, come on. The heat of the sun seemed nothing to him. Like, he's near a giant red star and he's just, okay, I'm fine. I can't believe I haven't gotten to this stuff yet, but I have to get over his, like, just creativity with the constructs, even if they're not super flashy, but they're just cool because Green Lanterns do cool stuff. He made a microscope for Batman to use this one time. Awesomeness. Made a medical medic camp to stabilize someone's vitals. This is cool, man. He can even test for toxins in the alien fruit like with like just making actual tech a device for Barry to examine the metal structure of a shield he can like send out probes to search for someone in the wilderness dude seem like hal is a big fan of like actual battle suits compared to other green lanterns that's the thing hal does but let's face it these battle suits look freaking cool i know i showed this already but that's the battle suit that you know fought mongo and beat the snot out of him makes a giant bear a giant eagle a giant shark this dude even made the constructs of the guardians like a giant gorilla huge construct he makes each stuff he has that bit it's a giant gorilla stuff like mythological dragons even a deity that's awesome right thunder god i gotta tell you with guy gardner he contains captain adam's energy expansion he was able to do awesome stuff like this with all these different weapons shooting at him awesomeness he makes cool stuff like the world's largest violin and big old drills and good stuff and actual bigger version constructs of himself awesomeness right another battle feed fight black lanterns all that good stuff by the way this is how he shaves and he can surf because he because he wants to the green surfer green lanterns can actually make functional stuff with their things like the fact that a mattress can deflect bullets that you know that's above a normal mattress right and deflect it back you know just awesome stuff with his construct creation make an actual functional shower with functioning water to actually really wash himself let's be honest could you honestly call yourself a green lantern that didn't have energy manipulation like other green lanterns he's vastly versatile when it comes to energy manipulation like no duh for example his ring can give power to a city if him and iron man was to ever team up and cross over he would be a good help for iron man being able to recharge his suit and stuff along with guy he was able to absorb enough energy to destroy half of wyoming absorb energy manipulation obviously he's good at sealing stuff too in one of his many adventures he traps dr light in the central power battery Kind of like a way of imprisonment. I guess it's a way to seal your opponents up or arrest them without like actually killing them and then put them in jail later. This dude absorbed a projection of a guardian to gain power. Awesome is right. At the time he was able to amplify a Zeta beam to be able to pick up Batman through a time stream. Um, what can this ring not do again? Stay to your life. Adam Strange. So that was a Zeta beam pumped up by a whole lot of ring energy and a headache amount of willpower. Willpower seems to solve everything. I can beat Green Lantern if I could just destroy his ring or just turn his ring into something inert. He can try to turn his ring into gold and that didn't work. Obviously it has resistance to stuff like transmutation and it can't, it's not that easy to beat these Green Lanterns. Even if you separate the ring from him, he can still use it in some degree. I say this in literally every Green Lantern video. When it comes to speed, not only does he have teleportation, which I kind of feel like it's redundant for a kid to have teleportation and this level of super speed, but whatever, because comic, he can teleport along with his crazy speed. By in base, he should have quadrillions of times faster than light flight raw speed, considering the fact he flies from older earth in a very short amount of time, stuff like that. They can cruise at these level of speeds. Now, I'm not saying he's on the level of speed just when it comes to raw speed. You know what I'm saying? Like characters like Jay Garrick, he's still probably slower than, but 
you know, by default as a Speed Force user, Jay Carey should be mad with Fast and Light. I'll probably make a video about him later. He should have comparable speed to like top tier Kryptonians, like maybe Power Girl or Superman, stuff like that. You know, he's a top tier in that regard, but still slower than Flash characters, you know what I mean? Because that's their main thing, speed. Not to mention this famous Green Lantern scan, being able to traverse the universe and like literally the universe in a couple of hours. So yeah, quadrillions of times Fast and Light by default. Just to give you an idea of the size of the DC universe, and that's, you know, a low ball because universes in theory are expanding. The power rings just in general, just of Green Lantern defaults, they can react in nanoseconds. Kind of like an auto-react feature, I'm assuming. But back to his raw flight speed right quick, a couple more occasions. He literally flies from the Earth to the Moon in the span of a sentence. He's that freaking fast. Just minor occasion stuff. Flies to Mars to Earth, detonation in 15 seconds, it stays here. He did this in the span of 15 seconds, that level of speed. You know, massively fast and light, just, you know. Stuff I already told you, just in case you didn't believe me. Evidently flies to another solar system back to Earth in under 15 freaking minutes. Tell me about raw flight speed. Flies over, well over the speed of sound attack with Parallax, Kyle. You know, then one of the many other occasions to mess with Parallax. Of course they have to. Flies faster than the speed of sound. That, duh, that's like a pun. Of course he can fly faster than that. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Follows airwave at light speed. Target is approaching the speed of light. Stairs. He's faster than my beam. All kinds of crazy travel speed. Fighting other massively faster than light beings, reacting to their attacks and stuff like that, like Sapphire. But if this occasion is not good enough for you, how about the fact you know speedsters have ridiculous combat speed or fighting speed or punching speed or burst speed? He was able to do this to a speed force character. Does this, was able to catch him with his chain and even tie him up. Just implying that he's way faster than light when it comes to reaction time speed. How Jordan and Barry Allen like literally was flying around zipping, saving people. So this is another reaction time speed feat because they're in a closed, composed area, not space, which is wide and open, which wouldn't take no reaction time. Zipping around, saving people, and fighting these monsters at the same time. So this does take combat speed. They're taking sharp turns in a very short amount of distance. You know, that's kind of like a combat speed feat. Can create constructs in a moment's notice when stuff tries to hit them from behind like that he was able to stop barry from rushing off kind of like a reaction time speed feet because you see barry had like the head start on him but his ring was on the other side of him as you can see that type of speed not saying barry was running his absolute fastest but this is something you got to consider after all this stuff i think by default it's just safe to say he has to be in the 40 quadrillions of times faster than light speed of light range just by default from the universe he's in the feats he has the reaction time feats he has the massively faster than light travel speed feats he has traveling around the universe that freaking fast but if all of that's not enough what if i told you that they have other abilities, oh my goodness, like telepathic abilities, not just resistances, but actual telepathic ability. Like I mentioned earlier that he has telepathic resistance, willpower, stuff like that. He also has telepathy as well. How versatile can you get, man? Does this by talking to Jon Stewart telepathically. I mentioned this earlier, but like I said, you can kind of give the ring commands and it kind of follows your algorithm based on what you tell it to do. Planting a command in the ring to wake up how when a telepath is no longer monitoring his thought. Like the ring can like put itself on standby, the wearer can go to sleep and it will alert you if somebody has a security breach or something crazy. Like it's just stuff like that. High speed mind transmissions. You can even scan the minds of potential lanterns. <laughs> like, yeah, read minds, I'm assuming. And he kind of has like what? Some sort of paperwork for guardians, whatever this means. Telepathic paperwork. That's, I guess, was, that's what their paperwork is. Awesomeness. Hal and John remove Star Sapphire from Carol's mind. That's the type of stuff they can do. I saw this earlier, but yeah, he has PSI blockers for kids like Martian Manhunter. When you know, I told you about him in the league and stuff like that, his what his ring can do, his full potential and stuff like that. He can even make invisibility bubbles. Never got around to the teleportation, but here you teleport out of a police station, right? Teleports Barry from his office to the airport. You know, just teleporting other people. Teleports Barry, Oliver, and himself. From an evidence room, he can even evidently travel to other universes with wormhole creations like traveling to the antimatter universe and making a wormhole doing so. Another occasion of him making a portal for the league. Portal creation, for real. Green Lantern with prep time is scary considering the fact that you can actually scan its opponent or target for weaknesses. Yep, the ring can do that as well. Can target enemies through walls and identify what they are and who they are and stuff like that. He even does a ring scan to determine a robot's weakness. Can even do legit alien scans on this alien creature. Well, I guess I don't have to go to the doctor. I can just use my ring to find my DNA. Scans for telepaths and he can see where they're hiding. He was able to scan for Martian Manhunter's vitals and to see that it, he didn't have none because he was a Black Lantern. <laughs> yeah, they'd be fighting Black Lantern, all these Lantern adventures. And of course, it has an x-ray feature. 
Don't tell me he has intangibility too. Okay, this is just OP. Just pass it through a window. Another occasion of intangibility. Yet another occasion of intangibility. Just, just go through stuff. Flies right through this wall. And again, flies through a ceiling in a wall. He can even create illusions. Like making himself look like a bad guy in appearance. <laughs> That's funny. This dude even posed as a goon to get a confession out of some crooked landlord. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Creates hundreds of illusions to confuse an interdimensional guardian. Yeah, made it like he was a whole bunch of clones of himself. Got to love it. Epicness. His ring can translate Russian and other languages, obviously, in the known universe. It automatically counteracts sedatives. It states here, the rings automatically collect evidence for prosecution. This is like one of the most common features, like self-projection, even if you're not really there. You know, the power battery, the ring can actually trace it. That's part that's cool. You can, what, uh, quote unquote, turn off your voice? It states here. Sorry to turn off your voice, Aresia, but there's a name I didn't want you to call. Turn off your voice? Like, what? How does that work? He made it to him and Superman can talk in space. States here. Hello, Hal. I take it you're using your ring to hear my voice. What if I told you he can heal himself? This dude was able to send a message to the Batcave from space. Yeah, if he wants you to know something, you're going to know it. It's kind of like a spider sense. It can detect a threat within 100 meters. Another occasion of him doing it, like detecting an ambush. So at this point, you got an idea of his blast power, where he ranges in speed, reaction time, his versatility when it comes to his ring. When it comes to the lanterns, he's definitely one of the top lanterns in the universe, along with, you know, characters like Sinestro, Cal Rayner, John Stewart. But, and, and you know, even Guy Gardner, but if you want more proof of this, we can go over some of his battles that he has with these beings as well. Only fair. You can see in this occasion, him, he's fought in Sinestro, like, literally a whole bunch of times throughout his career. Engaging a hard battle, like always, as you can see. This one, he was a Lantern, Green Lantern, of course. But they have their differences from time to time, or some could say disagreements, you know what I mean? This is, you know, he kind of got the W on him, but yeah, Sinestro ain't no joke. Another time of him fighting Sinestro, he defeated Sinestro in combat, then... Look at these cool, awesome construct creations. Evidently, it's a long fart battle, but see these cool devices they're making to fight each other? Ouch. As you can see, yeah, it's getting real. Punch, choke, attacks. Oh, man, it gets brutal. He kills him. Dang. Another occasion of fighting another lantern, like Guy Gardner. As you can see, another lantern. The goat rams him, makes more attacks. How reacts, trucks him, makes these little artifacts. They fight more, giant hammer. Counters it with an anvil, punches him some more. Shield, fight some more. Breaks up the fight. Then they fight some more without their ring. <laughs> you know, just awesome. But like, this is a pure hand-to-hand -hand fight. They don't have their rings on at the moment. Just kind of give you an idea of his hand-to-hand -hand skills in comparison to other lanterns, which Hal does have, indeed. Even though this is a long fought battle, can't deny how long this fight actually was but he won in hand-to-hand -hand combat though yeah it was long though <laughs> probably one of the bestly choreographed fights it's rare when you actually see a fight actually drawn out this long in comics like they actually drew out this many panels just for one fight usually they try to end the fight shorter in comic panels nowadays another occasion of him fighting guy gardner with better and improved art this is epic as you they fight in the water hockey puck making constructs this is well choreographed epic but then they realize that Parallax is manipulating them, so that's like, nah, we need to stop fighting for no reason. Yeah, all the Green Lanterns have fought each other. He even fought Jon Stewart, another legendary Green Lantern I made a video about as well. You might want to check that video out. As you can see here, all the top tier human Green Lanterns have fought. The man, the myth, the legend, Hal Jordan himself. But it, they always are tough fights, wars. It's never, ever really a curb stomp. This fight right here was actually interrupted. This is like a mental battle. Kind of epic to see, regardless, right? Ouch. The top-notch human Green Lanterns. Mental battle. He's even defeated other Lanterns, maybe not as popular name, but yeah, he's made his name known that yeah, he's one of the top tiers for a reason. As you can see in this occasion, fighting other Lanterns in a decently drawn out fight. Feast these other Lanterns right here, showing that he is one of the elite for a reason, and you should not underestimate human-based Green Lanterns. Yeah, he's just a powerful Green Lantern. In this occasion, cut off her hand, got a ring. I think it's pretty obvious at this point that he's above Kilowog, though. For example, he was able to knock out Kilowog. I don't know how these Green Lanterns be doing this type of stuff, but he be fighting like these universal plus beings and stuff like that fighting parallax in his base state somehow you know evil version of himself you know parallax how zero hour you know that type of thing don't know how he's doing this but yo that's insanity he's consistently shown to be able to give wars to characters like captain adam in this particular occasion he did take an l though because he doesn't always win in every fight you know even though it's his respect them just being realistic but he's always implied to hang up there with the superman levels if we're being honest and I showed this earlier, long drawn a fight, talked about how impressed he was by how that type of epic thing. This is like a cool feature. It actually has hibernation mode. I showed this earlier about the crew speed of lanterns. The gang seals up parallax back in the central lantern battery, working together, showing that they're not fleas in comparison to each other with team where they can accomplish great threats, like sealing up parallax, a being that should be above them skyfather ranges. 
the opposing opposite of the ion and stuff like that. Legit, legit epicness, long drawn out battles spec these lanterns so basically there's a reason why he's one of the top tier green lanterns like yeah he just has a lot of flashy feet especially in the one at the very beginning of the video definitely no superman ranges wonder woman ranges for sure right that makes sense remember this earlier this is kind of like on some astro projection type stuff yeah i know i already showed this though he's definitely knows black hole ranges I already showed what he can do fighting the major green lantern heavy hitters keep in mind that green lantern heavy hitters can do stuff like Create an entire solar system. Yeah, this is John Stewart in particular, but he is comparable to other Green Lanterns like John Stewart. They're the big three: Kyle, John Stewart, and Hal Jordan. So he should be able to do something similar to this, or better, or just slightly below, or you know, whatever you want to. Leave. I would say they're comparable with power. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the elephant in the room. Where are the feats about zero hour parallax? Hal Jordan. Well, this video is long enough. I think I'm gonna save that for another time. But yeah, how Jordan's feats do not stop. He has like you know, of course, these things called the temporary power ups, where the character gets godhood for a little while or one storyline and then goes back to his normal power levels but yeah these are far out of his new other power levels when he was possessed by parallax parallax zero hour how jordan was absolutely madness but i'm probably gonna get into that another time make a whole separate video about that but this video kind of was already pretty long and stuff like that and detailed wouldn't you say but guys how did you guys enjoy this feat run it's not really complicated he's definitely up there with other green editors like john stewart and Kyle Rayner in their base states and stuff like that, right? They're the top dogs of Green Lanterns. All are massively fast and light. Quadrillions, if I'm being honest, at least could be faster and things like that. Comparable to some speedsters, even though speedsters still have advantages over them. They can react to speedsters. He was able to trip up Zoom. It's hex that protects him against stuff, and he can even have telepathy, stuff like that. Characters like Martian Manhunter can't just mind destroy him and call it a day. Probably that wouldn't work on other Green Lanterns because that's probably the ultimate counterattack against mind raping abilities is the fact that characters have willpower. That's the whole thing about Green Lanterns, their willpower. Their ring can protect them and then alone without their ring, they just have ridiculous willpower too. So it would be very unlikely for that to work against them as well. But did you guys enjoy this feat run? Is there anything you learned new? I'm pretty sure you knew this stuff because he's insane. Uh, did you enjoy this presentation of it? Did you enjoy how? Are you ready for more? Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Check out those playlists for more stuff like this. I do a lot of different videos similar to this. And hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys next time.